back to Gloom and Free Groupie. Today I want to do a quick video just to talk about, I don't want to call it a Trader Joe's haul because I didn't get like tons of things, but when I was at Trader Joe's last, these are just some Christmas items, some Gloom and Free Christmas items that I found that I really like and so I wanted to share them with you. The Trader Joe's, if you have one near you, is actually really great with Gloom and Free. I want to do a whole video just on my favorite glue and free items at Trader Joe's, not just holiday ones, but it's December. I'm feeling Christmassy, so I wanted to focus on the Christmas ones for today. But if you're interested in more Trader Joe's videos, let me know. I really like shopping there. They actually have my favorite bread. Again, I want to make a whole video about the Trader Joe's things that I really like, but just want to share with you today some other glue and free uh, holiday limited edition items that I have found that I really enjoy. So first I want to talk about, I'll call this, this isn't Christmas, but it's Thanksgiving, I guess technically. I don't know if people eat stuffing at Christmas, but when I was at Trader Joe's just this last week, so it was like the first week of December, they still had this in stock, so I don't know if they're going to keep it around through December, but this is one of my favorite things that I actually just discovered this year and tasted for the first time. This is the gluten-free stuffing mix from Trader Joe's. I love this because I love stuffing. I often crave it other than Thanksgiving. That was actually when I first got pregnant. It was kind of getting towards the holidays and I just wanted stuffing so bad. And every time I went to Trader Joe's, I would walk down the aisle and I was like, please have the gluten-free stuffing because I hadn't actually ever tried it, but I saw that they had it. So I knew it was coming and I waited and waited and the day it was there, my husband was with me at Trader Joe's and I, he, he could tell you, I lit up. I was so excited. So I had actually been craving this. So we made it that night. That was like early on in November before Thanksgiving, I think is when they got it in stock. But I finally tried it and it is really good. You can add like celery and onion to it. I didn't do that. I just wanted to hurry and make it because I was craving it. And it was actually great just making it, you know, it's just like stovetop, but you make it the exact same way. And it's actually delicious. My only downside is this makes a ton. So for me and my husband, it was way too much that we like tried to keep, but then didn't end up eating leftover. And of course you could just make half of it. I just didn't want to bother with having all the measurements cause I'm lazy. But anyways, this is my favorite. Again, just wanted to start with this cause it's not very Christmassy, but if you see this and you like stuffing, I would definitely give this a go. Next, I wanna talk about some of the drinks they have. So I picked this up a few weeks ago, not the last time I was there, but I'm a fan of eggnog in small doses. I don't love a ton of it, but I do really like it. But it does kind of hurt my stomach. Milk in general kind of hurts my stomach. So I was actually really stoked to find this. This is almond nog. So it's just made from almond milk. And they have all these different drinks for the holidays. I have another one I'm going to show you. And they all say gluten free on the side, which is awesome. So egg free, lactose and dairy free, gluten free, soy free, and vegan. It's like all the things. So this is a good alternative to eggnog if you want an almond nog. Um, I'm assuming most eggnogs are gluten free. That's something I can check on. But this one I really like just because it is made with almond milk, so it was way less rich. It still had all those eggnog flavors, but just was not as sickening and rich like eggnog can be, but still satisfied my craving for it. And the other drink, I like this one actually better than the almond nog. This is the chocolate peppermint almond beverage. I think you really do have to like almond milk to like these. And I'm a huge almond milk drinker. I don't actually ever drink regular milk. I eat yogurt, like Greek yogurt, for some reason that I like, and I do better with that, but I don't like regular milk. So I am an almond milk drinker. This does taste almondy to me, so if you don't like that, you probably wouldn't like this. But this is great. This is just a chocolate peppermint. Tastes exactly like it sounds. I haven't tried it warmed up, actually. I really want to do that to see if it could be like a nice hot chocolate alternative. Um, but again, for sure, gluten-free, vegan, soy-free, lactose and dairy-free. Just been kind of nice to have after dinner, and I have been having it chilled. I want to try it warm, but just have a little sweet something after dinner. I really, really like this. So there's some other drinks. I didn't pick them up because they weren't, you know, Christmassy like I was going for, but they have like a blueberry lavender one I really want to try, and they're all like this um, almond milk gluten-free. They have a few different ones. So then let's move to, we'll go, this is just in the dairy section, I guess. Um, this is really good. Again, you have to like eggnog. This is just an eggnog Greek yogurt. I'm pretty sure it's Greek. Yeah, it's their Greek whole milk yogurt, which I really like Trader Joe's Greek whole milk yogurt. That's pretty much all I eat is a Trader Joe's version because it's cheap and it's good. They have an eggnog one that is gluten-free. Their yogurts don't say gluten-free on it. So it depends on how you feel about that. I can get into the whole why some Trader Joe's things don't say gluten-free. I've actually emailed them and asked them. 
like I said before, I want to do a whole Trader Joe's video, not just Christmas, where I can talk about that. If you're interested in hearing more about Trader Joe's, I love them. Anyways, since this is just Christmas, we're just focusing on this. But this is the eggnog yogurt. Um, again, they don't say gluten-free, but they don't have gluten in them, so, which is like most yogurts. So I eat them just fine. This is the eggnog one. It's good, but it is pretty rich. Um, I feel like... I don't know if I could really eat this for breakfast. I grabbed it to try it, and I like it, but eating with, like, fruit and yogurt like I like to do for breakfast probably wouldn't go with this flavor. And then these I discovered last time as well. So I went to Trader Joe's a few days ago and have been needing to film this video, and these used to be more full. But I really love meringues. They're a great gluten-free treat, something that you can just have after dinner that's not too rich but is a sweet little treat. I really like that, and I love peppermint things, as you are seeing. So these I had to try. These are the mini peppermint meringues. They're so good. And these do say, yeah, they do say gluten-free on the back. It says contains egg, is the only allergen, but then they also say gluten-free on the back. These are really, really good. If you like peppermint, if you like meringues, if you want to try it, I love these. I have been, <laughs> you can see in the top, they used to be full. I've been just grabbing one after dinner, and these are really, really good. So I would highly recommend these. And if I remember, they were like super cheap, like two bucks, I think, if that, 150. I don't know. They were really cheap, and they're awesome. And then my last Christmas gluten free Trader Joe's item is my favorite that I look forward to every year. Well, in the past three years since I've been diagnosed. And that is the Candy Cane JoJo's. So as you guys might know, Trader Joe's does offer gluten-free, just regular JoJo's all year long. But I wait all year for the Candy Cane ones because, sorry, they're like rattling in there. But these are my favorite. I do like the regular ones, but just to have as a small treat, I keep saying that. Apparently I'm really into just small after-dinner treats, but that is kind of what I'm into. Especially right now, I'm like not really craving sweet things actually, and they can make me really sick they do anyways but being pregnant and eating sugar has not really been great on my stomach so i've just liked these little things here and there to eat after dinner has been great so these candy cane jojos i love them i really only like one or two they're not like addicting to me like i feel like oreos can be i don't know maybe that's just me again i'm usually a bigger sweet person but not right now my stomach's crazy but these are my absolute favorite holiday item at Trader Joe's. My favorite gluten-free holiday item at Trader Joe's are the gluten-free candy cane JoJo's. So again, if you like peppermint, candy cane, Oreos, any of those things, definitely pick these up. They do actually go out of stock. I think they did last year. They totally ran out. So I didn't pick up two boxes or anything, but I might have to. We'll see how fast I go through these. But I love these. These are my top recommend if you want to try something Christmassy from Trader Joe's, for sure. These, or you know the meringues if you don't want something as chocolatey. Those are just a few of the gluten-free holiday items that I really enjoy at Trader Joe's I wanted to share with you. Like I said in the beginning, I do want to do a whole separate, just dedicated to Trader Joe's gluten-free items. But I wanted to bring up some of the things they have now that are limited in stock, will only be here in December. So go pick them up if any of these things sounded good. And Trader Joe's has great prices. They are really cheap. None of these things, except for the stuffing. The stuffing is like $5.99, which is more up there. It's all of these things, this one, the drinks, the yogurt, whatever, everything's super cheap. So if you just want to try something for a couple of bucks, have a nice little snack, to have a nice little gluten-free dessert item so you're not left out on all of the Christmas parties, definitely hit up Trader Joe's. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you do want to see more Trader Joe's videos. I will probably plan on doing that. I will hopefully be back in not too long with more gluten-free Christmas videos, but I hope you enjoyed this one, and thank you guys so much for watching.